Blessings, love. And this is my offering to the divine annual Pisces solar season, full moon in Virgo that is around us, surrounding us and within us. The last full moon of our astronomical, astrological year for the true new year in some minds begins when the sun enters Aries in the spring equinox and so the full moon in Virgo every year at this time the last full moon allows for us to come in connection to the journey that we have traveled in this solar procession through the wheel of the year the lunar procession with the sun united as one the Virgo moon opposing the full light of our divine Pisces sun. That divine polarity of Pisces and Virgo, mutable water and earth. How has this year been for you? I have traveled a deep wormhole grief hole and emerging through the dark earth like the plants at this time fertilization the rebirth of the self the rebirth of nature through the season we made it through the dark night of the soul and the winter Virgo moon has a deep meaning for me after many moons and many cycles exploring and excavating and sitting in the energy. Both of the humans that bore me were born under a Virgo moon, knowing about our parentals, birth charts and archetypical patterns within them, knowing about our divine natures through the zodiac has helped me make peace with the pain and the trauma, the darkness. Obviously not fully, but we are always <clears throat> intending to make peace within and without and exploring the zodiac, learning about human nature, learning about how we are all zodiac signs within has helped me make peace and heal and find wonder and synchronicity in the madness and the chaos and the pain and the trauma and the memories, giving meaning to my own life, using the power of Virgo to heal my own life. Virgo lives within us all, lives within all sentient life. You do not need to have Virgo in your own astrological birth chart in order to access, anchor, and assimilate this power into your body. Intention is so deeply part of our human experience. Intention with where we're putting our attention. Connecting to the idea of intention and what am I intentionally putting my attention towards and how am I intentionally speaking and thinking and behaving? Virgo is a very powerful spirit guide that belongs to us all, an ancient guide of this earth and is available to you through you and through this open heart. And this is beyond superstition or disbelief or disgust or your trauma trigger. This is a dormant star seed that lives within you. <clears throat> and you can activate these star seeds through your own intention and desire and connection and willingness to realize that you are connected and you resonate with a star system. Awakening to like what this even means. Who is Virgo? What is Virgo? What is this feeling? What is this? How have you been feeling today, the days leading up to this day? And how has Virgo revealed herself to you through you? 
especially to those that don't identify as female, this energy belongs to you to help you remember why you came to earth and the sacred masculine principle that lives within us all as well is longing to be activated to our true purpose within and what we came to protect and to protect what is sacred and so often using the inner motivation the sacred masculine to temper within myself and to remind myself of what is true and sacred and to help create and generate the sacred and divine feminine within me and that lives within us all and this is the gift of Virgo power of the body and the mind activates and you remember that you are more than you believe yourself to be and touch your body now human touch your hand over your heart and over your forehead over the crown hold the space with yourself and with me and if you are not able to put your hands on your own body in this way for whatever reason imagine you're being held by your own hands close your eyes and sit with this sensation and the potential of yourself to come closer to yourself to honor yourself the virility that lives within us all to protect ourselves it comes very natural to learn to love yourself and underneath the mindscape of addiction and self-harm and self-loathing numbing out disconnecting focusing on the other pouring your heart and soul and energy into the story of another and you forgot about your own self washing over shame and anger and disgust with the light of your own love Virgo full moon energy pour forth into me through me into thee call this light into your body if you have the ability to open up a window to speak with her this evening I urge you to do so if you can go for a midnight walk even for five minutes to gaze at her light and to call her light into your heart speak to her speak to the heart the center of the sun that I'm willing to awaken I am willing to create the love within my own life I'm willing to look at the shadow aspects of myself everything that has been hidden from me all discord and pain and all creativity and potential and desire and healing the shadow holds the infinite potential it is not to be feared but what is unknown to be now will create fear how do you learn to work with fear are you willing to grow and to examine your own mind and your body's programmed reactions and your body's trauma-based reactions there are layers and layers and layers and layers to your own humanity that you have yet to discover you are the only one who is to give meaning to this life and this is Virgo energy reclamation of the self the sovereignty within this being knowing that I don't have control over outside events but I have control over the way that I think and speak and connect and interact with others and create boundaries and disconnect and create new lives within this life in spite of all pain in spite of all trauma there is a light underneath continuously calling to us and through us that we came here for this reason the power of Virgo full moon help you remember the 
purpose for why you came here. And may that begin with a desire to learn to nourish and nurture your own body, your mind, and your emotions every day so you may come into relationship with your soul. The human body and the soul that lives within this body. You are the continuation of an ancient story. And it is a miracle you're alive to feel this much self-loathing. <laughs> and there's so much beauty in you. You have yet to discover your own self and may you learn to desire your own self as much as you wish somebody else would see you. In medical astrology, Virgo rules the elementary canal, which is the hole to hole, so deep meditation of the canal that is continuous uh, through the mouth, into the throat, esophagus, through the hole of the diaphragm, into the stomach, into the small intestine. So Virgo also rules small intestines and the lower part of the liver. And this relationship that we have to this body and the magic of the oneness consciousness, the oneness of everything that we put in this hole becomes this being. what is the quality of your own life and the choices that you make and the privileges that you have to make better choices for yourself when others don't to value yourself more than numbing out or harming yourself desiring to get to know your body and your mind and your being before you leave this place. Connecting to tension and inflammation, cramping and joint pain and bone pain. And how many uteruses are bleeding as one on this full moon? Have you ever touched yourself with nourishing, nurturing care? Holding your own belly, your own womb space, like it's your own baby. Everyone has the proverbial womb space, for we were all born from the womb. The profound mother wound, the original wound, and the tension and inflammation and this connection that we have from this physical body is part of our healing coming back into our bodies learning to befriend our bodies after infinite years of neglect belly hatred fat phobia eating disorders, self-harm, self-loathing. These are practices we have been fed. Some we have absorbed through our gene code. So we may learn to nourish and nurture ourselves before we leave this place. And we may learn to inlay new ways of behaving to anyone who is experiencing profound loneliness where all you do desire is to leave this place trust that there is a pathway opening through the power of virgo full moon for you come back to this body come back to this heart and soul come back to the earth place your hands and feet on the earth physical earth, plug back into the great mother, the cosmic mother, the one who never left us, connecting to the power of Virgo, the ancient one, 
activate this power within us all. And may you remember the truth of who you really are through the power of Virgo full moon and Pisces sun. I come back to the guts of my life to make peace with my life, to bring forth new life. I believe in you and I believe in us all. And if you'd like to learn more about the power of Virgo that lives within us all, but especially if you are Virgo Sun, Moon, Venus, Mars, Mercury, and so on, especially if you were born with a Virgo placement, learning more about the patterns of your own divine nature can help you truly activate and heal and have compassion for yourself, for your functioning from Autobot reactions and consciousness and when you can learn to refine and use this energy for the greatest good you're on your own way of that deep ascension and activation through every zodiac sign that lives within you practice these practices of the mind essentially and body anchoring to cope and to activate within this darkness this beyond the dream. This is the merging of consciousness and actualization through deep pain, trauma, and poverty, and the harm that we have caused ourselves with our own minds. The power of Virgo will help us all to make the pact within ourselves to rebirth the new earth from within our own hearts by nourishing and nurturing ourselves. And to remember, Virgo full moon has got your back. And so do I. I love you. Visit my website, boundariesarebeautiful.com and search Virgo in the search and you can learn more about the Virgo archetype. And also my YouTube channel. If you search Tessa Ridley Virgo, I have a playlist for every zodiac sign and many different body movements, somatic practices, but also deep rememberings of my own self over many cycles that you can always come back to again and again for inspiration and healing for your own self. I love you and I'd love to hear about how this full moon is feeling for you and what's coming forward for you. Explore in the comments, I'd love to hear from all of you. I love you so much and I'm thankful to be coming back from the dead. There's so much that we came here to do together.